Hey y'all, today we're doing the weekly reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. And I've already pre-shuffled the decks that I'm going to be using before I started to save time for y'all on the video. Sorry that the background sucks. I had to go inside because it's raining. Um, the first one is just going to be three cards telling you about your environment. Some kind of anything you need to know about the environment that's not really love related. Then we're gonna pull a spread for the person that's on your mind, what's going on between you and them, an outcome spread, and then advice cards. And it is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate, hopefully I'll get you next week because I'm gonna try to do each sign every week from now on. All right, Gemini, what are the three cards that you need to know about your environment? You got the Two of Swords reversed, the Four of Cups reversed, and the Ten of Swords. I feel like you should just be mindful of people, places, things, jobs, whoever it is that could be in your environment that could be kind of like jealous of you because if they feel like they've missed an opportunity of some kind, take this as a general thing and you apply it to your story in your life. But if they feel like they've missed some kind of opportunity, it's like they might would try to betray you or backstab you in order for you to miss the opportunity as well. If that's for a job or whatever. So if you know if that resonates with you or not, just be mindful. It's like, don't be like fearful or anything to attract it in, but just be mindful of it because it's like, if they feel like they've missed it, they might try to hinder you from missing something that you would have otherwise deserved. So let's get what's going on between Gemini and the person on their mind. The first card will just be the overall energy between you and this person. And I already shuffled before I started. So Queen of Cups in the reverse. So like almost I'm feeling like emotionally closed off from each other in general. Okay. So let's see. These cards keep wanting to come out two at a time. So on your side... You have the Fool card, the Ten of Pentacles reversed, and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like, because this is about you and the person on your mind, so since this is, even if you have a past with this person, most people do when they usually come to these readings, but with the Fool card, it's like you want to take a new jump towards them, and you won't even give and take. But with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, it's like... I don't think you really expect it to go any further than just like you would be happy settling with this person. Getting only the partial thing. You know what I'm saying? The Fool and the Six of Pentacles tells me as long as this person will equally reciprocate to you, you'll be satisfied. It's like you need to kind of be mindful with this because it's like you don't it's like you don't even think that you could get the Ten of Pentacles. So you don't believe in yourself enough. So you'll just accept them just showing up half-assed pretty much. Them just reciprocating as far as communication and stuff like that. But when it comes to the Ten of Pentacles, you feel like that's not even a possibility between you and this person for whatever reason. All right, so this person has the Three of Cups reversed, the Six of Swords, and the Page of Wands reversed. Maybe that's why you don't feel like it's a possibility because this person is immature compared to you. That's what I feel like. The dead center of the reading is the Empress card and then the Tower in the reverse and then the Nine of Swords in the reverse. That's like the joining energies between you and them. So no longer, it's kind of like you're no longer worrying about if it's going to work out or not. You're just kind of going with the flow. What comes, comes. What goes, goes. But like I said, on their side, I feel like this Three of Cups is talking, in the reverse, is talking about compared to you, they're immature. They may not be immature in some people's perspective, but for compared to you, they are. Does that make sense? It's like they're not on your level, okay? And then it's like they're trying to move forward from you, but then they turn around and they're curious about what are you doing, keeping a watch on you. But page energy in the reverse, that's very immature but the mutual energy between you and this person is having a comeback around with the tower card in the reverse i feel like this connection may be teaching you some things that's helping you grow and evolve 
even apart from it being romantic, just in general with that Empress card in the center of the spread. Also, since this person is very immature, if you do entertain them, just be mindful of like pregnancy and stuff like that because immature people don't take precautions. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get the outcome for Gemini. What is the outcome for Gemini and this person on their mind? The chariot in the reverse. See, that's, that's a bogged down kind of thing. Let's see what else comes out. You're losing passion for it by the end of this situation within the next few weeks or a month or whatever. But the only thing is there's a lot of freaking emotion here. I feel like you will hear from this person definitely because this makes no damn sense. The Knight of Swords in the reverse. I say I feel like you'll hear from them definitely, but you see that. Then you got the Hierophant card and the Queen of Pentacles. If you watch tarot, you know what this is. This is like nurturing energy. This is wanting a commitment with you, but not maybe saying anything about it, but they have a desire for that. And I think deep down, you know that with that Ace of Swords in the upright, you know that this person wants something with you more than what they're showing you. But the only thing that's also bothering me is the chariots in the reverse. This is bogged down energy, not moving forward, not progressing. But both people have a lot of emotion for each other. And I feel like both people are manifesting each other, even if it's just on a subconscious level, you don't even realize it because we're always manifesting anyway. One or both people has like a fear of taking another chance towards this. And maybe that's you because they've let you down in the past. You don't want them to let you down again. I'll say this. They've let you down in the past. Unless you know this person's changed, I don't think so. Because yes, if they want the commitment and they want to nurture it, okay, fine. They need to be big enough to say it. And also, it doesn't need to be energy that is bogged down. So, I feel like they got good intentions. They might not even come from a bad place, but they just ain't on your level. That's honestly what I feel like. They ain't on your level and you already know that. And you probably do know they want some kind of commitment. And it's like, you can't help but love this person, but it's almost like in a childlike way. Like, you know that they're not capable of bringing what they need to bring or bringing what you deserve. That's why you don't even expect the Ten of Pentacles out of this person. And it may not even be nothing to do with your self-worth. It may be because you realize they just ain't got that capacity at the level they're at right now. All right. Let's get advice for Gemini. That Ace of Swords came out again. I feel like this is telling you to stay stubborn in what you want. You got the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Cups reversed, and the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles can speak to standing your ground. I almost feel like a Seven of Wands energy off of him. Stay stubborn in what you want. If you want a Ten of Pentacles... You know what you want. Decide what you want and accept nothing less. That is your advice. And don't worry with the nine of swords in the reverse about how it's going to show up. If it's going to show up from this person, fine, it might. If it's not, fine. But just make that in your mind up. Whatever you've accepted in the past that wasn't very positive, that you really didn't want, but you settled for, don't do that anymore. Make that Ace of Swords decision of what you want and be stubborn in what that is. And don't accept anything less than the Ten of Pentacles if that's what you want. All right, Gemini, that's been your reading. And thank you so much for watching.